And more than half of the countries taking part in the Alba sports game countries are Caribbean islands. They arrived in Venezuela as part of the alliance, seeking closer ties with Latin America. Let's see. The Caribbean countries arrived in Caracas to participate in the fifth Alba Games, and although they do not have such large or experienced delegations, they have given their best in disciplines such as volleyball, table tennis, fencing, swimming, and basketball. It's very good. I think we should do more of this because the Alba countries such as Cuba, Venezuela, Nicaragua have a higher level than us. If we can continue practicing with them, our level will increase. I think the level of the sport that we have seen here in Caracas is of a higher level than what we are used to in St. Vincent. We have competed favorably and it is a lesson for us to return home as a building platform. They agree on the possibilities for sporting development that competing with more advanced teams represents. Well, I'm very excited to be here in the first place. I must thank the Venezuelan government for giving us this opportunity to participate in this competition and to participate in Antigua and Barbuda. We are very excited. This is the first course. The students we have here are new and this is a good experience for them. They also appreciate the effort to take out the Alba Sport Games again. It has been a challenge after 12 years. I think the Alba Games are very effective in assisting countries in the development process. I think these Alba Games are well organized. I'm very impressed with the organization. Meeting in sport is a way to resume the packs of friendship between the whole Caribbean and Latin American area and to dynamize the relations between the countries. These Alba Games are part of the petro caribbean agreement between our country and the president of Venezuela. Most of the Caribbean countries are very united. We fight on the court when it comes to the volleyball, but of the court, we are friends until. The teams from the Caribbean islands will continue to strive to add medals to the final medal tally at the close of the event on Saturday, April 29th.